Now the global news. France will ban children from wearing the abaya in state-run schools. Well, abaya is a loose-fitting, full-length robe worn by some Muslim women in state-run schools. Meanwhile, in Iran, the authorities have commenced legal proceedings against a prominent pop singer by a song that calls for freedom for, from, from the forced whale. And in Afghanistan, women have been banned from a park over complaints that women don't observe hijab properly in the park there. While all these countries do not have much in common, but it once again stresses on politics over women's clothing. The announcement made by the French Education Minister will come into effect starting 4th of September. France has a strict ban on religious signs in the state schools and also the government buildings, arguing that they violate the secular law. The country banned headscarves in schools in 2004 and in 2010. It passed a ban on full-face veils, angering many of its 5 million strong Muslim community. In yet another case, Iranian authorities have commenced legal proceedings against a prominent pop singer, Mehdi Yadrahi. This over his recent song release that encourages women to remove their mandatory headscarves. However, the specific charges against Yadrahi are not confirmed as of yet. And following the death of death of Mas Amini, Iran witnessed months of protests. However, nothing seems to have changed and it's been a year. These protests led to the arrest of thousands of people and the deaths of at least hundreds of them. The strict dress code, particularly the mandatory headscarves, has faced increasing resistance from Iranian women. And as the case against Iranian Mehsa Yarahi unfolds, and as France slams sanctions over women's clothing, the debate over women's freedom has returned yet again.